Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create a site script for an existing SERP online site. So here I am in my Office 265 tenant and I have this modern SERP online site that is actually a communication site and I'm going to show you how you can using PowerShell you can create yeah, a site script from this site and I will tell you what is included as part of this site script. So in order to do that, first thing uh, we have to do, as you can guess, is just to open the SERP online management cell. This is what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, connect to my SERP online tenant. So, as you know, I have to use the connect SPO service command let, and then it's required to provide the SERP online admin center URL. So, um, I have here just uh, the PowerShell instructions I want to execute in the SERP online management cell. So first thing is just to provide this URL. Yeah, it's fine. And if everything goes well, I need to type my SERP online admin credentials here. At least I need to be a SERP online admin. If I'm in global admin, it's fine. It's fine, it's better. So I'm typing the username and then I will type the password. Here we are. And then yes, test. Uh, we have to test that yeah, everything is well. So I can get the list of site collections in my tenant. Perfect. So let's clear the screen. And the other thing I'm going to do is just to create this as the site script from an existing site. As you can see here, the key is to use the get SPO site script from web command let. Um, here you have different parameters you can set uh, in this command let, such as obviously the site URL, if you want to include the branding, if you want to include the theme, and you want to include the regional settings of the site, external sign capability, and last but not least, the list that you want that are actually in the site you want to include in the site script and that's all so basically you are creating a site script that is not as you could expect including all the stuff we have in the site for instance content types and so on we are creating yes a site script with some of the settings some of the settings we have in the site that's the theme so i don't know if microsoft is planning to add more uh, features in this command let in the future, maybe yes. So yeah, we will have a more complete site script, as, site script at some point in the future. So first of all, obviously these are lists that are existing on my site. I'm going to copy these variables in the SERP online management cell. Here we go. And then the only thing I need to do is just to copy this command let. And if everything's everything goes well, what you will see in my screen is the site script I'm generating. Obviously, the idea should be just to uh, assign this site script to a variable and then just create the site script in your tenant and then create the site design. But I'm not going to do that. I just going to, uh, I just want to show you how it works. So let's paste this and I hope I didn't did any mistake. So yeah. It worked perfectly. So basically, you, as I was telling you, you can see here all the site script. So as I'm including two lists, obviously, I need the verb to create the list. And for every list, I need the verbs to create the specific list columns I have on those lists. And also the views, um, so on. So here you have, yeah, the just the verbs required to create both lists in the uh, uh, by using this site script as part of the site design yeah and then we have the branding um, specific as you can see here we are talking about mega menu configure the menu navigation menu configure and using mega menu uh, also the kind of header layout i'm using is a compact one also if i'm using a specific background uh, and also if I want to show, show the future, a footer, sorry, that is correct. And the theme of the site, let's go down. And also say the external sharing capability. And finally, regional settings. So yeah, I'm using the English local, locale, sorry, the time zone is 13. 
yeah, I don't know which one is uh, is the is is the is the 13th time zone, the short order, and the hour format. And that's all I wanted to explain uh, you in regards of creating a site script from uh, an existing site. A very very useful feature. Uh, it's in a step forward of uh, simplifying the process of creating a site script uh, in order to extend uh, just new site in order sorry to create, uh, to extend brand new sites or existing ones. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, it allows us just to, uh, let's say, uh, to have to deal with this JSON structure and so on, because you we can have uh, ma many of the work required them. I hope you have found this video useful. Um, yeah, as always, talk to you soon. Bye bye.